brushing through the finer details. Local wig makers are creating headpieces from here received as part of a charity fundraiser. We thought it would be helpful if um, they were aware so that their, uh, the people who are shaving the hair would in turn cut the hair and make it available to us. Freedom Hair pays donors for their locks, or if sellers don't want to be reimbursed, the business donates the equivalent to charity. It receives three to four kilograms of hair every two months from Shave for a Cure participants. Staff are asking contributors to cut hair rather than shave it, so it can raise more money for the cause and provide wigs for those who need it. We need around 10 to 12 ponytails for each order that we make to, um, to create the product, and so we'll blend the hair and we'll prepare that for uh, implanting into a hairpiece for uh, clients around the world who have long-term total hair loss. It takes six weeks to create a wig start to finish and the workroom makes 1,500 each year. 90% of the wigs go to people all over the world suffering from hair loss as a result of conditions like alopecia. Conley says customers often write back saying how the hairpieces have been a godsend and have given them a wealth of confidence. Their parents invest in one of our products for them and they will write back as they have done and say their child is now um, improving in terms of school performance, they're getting on with their lives and they're enjoying life along with every other people around in their schools. The business is hoping for one to two hundred ponytails from Shave for a Cure participants this year. Annabelle Dick, 39, Dunedin News.